Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, for your viewing enjoyment, your mental candy dose of the day, I have this Pan Oceana Army. Uh, this is approximately 300 points worth. I have recently come into possession of this army. Uh, and uh, I have Mike D here. Say hello, Mike D. Come on. Hi. And oh he's going to tell you a little bit about what's in it. Uh, there are, let's see, looks like there are four fusiliers. Okay, uh, now that's the basic guys, troop, right? Yep, these two uh, guys with the red hats. Uh, and then there's two on the other side. Oh, there's actually uh, one in the middle right here with the heavy machine gun. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this gal out of the way here. Yeah, these bases are cool. These are the blue table bases. Right, which are um, out of print now. Okay, go so ahead. So the fusilier and there's two more. And there's uh, a couple more over here. The purple and the red hair. Right. Um, there's uh, Joan of Arc in the front. That's the... Uh, super awesome close Look. combat warrior of death. All right, awesome. Okay, what else do we have? The other things that we've got, let's see, there's a hacker. And I don't know um, what exactly it is. There's different kinds, but somebody who has a hacker skill. Uh, and she's used to control the remotes. Yeah, to take like over this guy back tags. here, that little yeah, this insectoid little looking thing. I think that's what it's called. But that's a mm -hmm. remote, a little remote controlled robot. Uh, and then the tag is that's on the other side. That's tactical armored gear. Yep. That's the big guy. I believe that one's called a cutter. I don't have Spinny McSpinnerton here today, guys. Sorry. So there's that. Ooh, check out. There's uh, some freehand on the other side of that wall, I believe. Oh, I see a little Pan Oceana symbol. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then the other... Okay. These are all painted level three. That's the basic level with some specialty bases. Go ahead. What else? Uh, the only other two guys are this orc troop with a heavy machine gun. And this is some kind of knight or something. I don't yeah, know exactly what it is. Yeah, hospitalier maybe. So, yeah. Okay, great. Those knights are dang hard to kill. Yeah, they have really good armor. Oh, they're awesome. All right, folks, so uh, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today I'm going to show you a, an approximately 200-point Infinity Army and what that's about. Infinity is a game put out by a company from Spain called Corvus Belly. Uh, they've been around for quite a while, and they're about to uh, have quite a surge. They're putting out a new campaign book, and it's a fantastic game, what you see before you. This is typically what you play this game with. Uh, this is a 200-point army, and I've got uh, Robbie here with me, who's going to tell us a little bit about each figure. He's going to tell us a All little right. bit about each figure. <laughs> First one here is a Knight Hospitaller, and um, okay. these are kind of like the uh, doctors of the game, so they can heal wounded guys, they can uh, okay. revive them, bring Which, them back. Is that, is that this guy right here? Yeah, this here? guy right here. Oh, so he's like a medic? Uh-huh. Because he looks like, you know, some kind of hardcore combat veteran. Well, it's kind Let's of both. It's that, it's the idea that um, okay. they're so good at combat that they know both medical skills and combat skills and okay, stuff. Okay, so. great. Guy, that kind of that guy is really cool. Yeah, spin him all the way. I don't have Spinny McSpinnerton today. So, uh, by the way, these are painted to level 5. So this is a typical example of that level of painting. Okay, who's this guy in the middle? He looks kind of like a leader guy. This one is the uh, Aquila Guard. And he's the kind of the specialist, and so he's got this huge gun, right? Um, an Bar HMG mach heavy machine gun. <laughs> wow! And he's just awesome. Uh, he's got really good armor. Um, he's kind of your all-around, does whatever needs to get done. Okay. So. Um, and then these two guys right here, they look like grunt soldiers. Yes, these are kind of the normal run-of-the-mill kind of guys. Right. They just got normal weapons. Now, in case anyone's wondering, uh, some of these bases aren't finished yet, so uh, that is. Uh, just something to consider. Like when we do a commission, we wouldn't pass through things that had like a little gap in the base. But go, go ahead, Robbie. Yeah, so these are the, the normal grunts, and this is a specialist. So he's got the uh, sniper rifle and he's got a special cloak. Oh, oh man. Guys, I am so sorry. I just, believe it or not, I'm still getting the hang of this thing. Okay, ready. I'm ready. So, yeah. He's pretty much the same stats and everything. He's just got the different gun. Okay, so hold on. This guy is just as good as that giant guy in the middle. No, he's as good as the, all of these three are the same. Oh, okay, I got it. But so this is like specialist. a little squad of guys, got it. Yeah. Guy, that is that is really cool. Now, what about this gal right here? 
Um, she looks like she a hacker or something. She's a hexa. So she's like a hacker specialist um, infiltrator okay. person. She's Let's got turn this her around. Uh, camel cloak that makes her kind of completely invisible, and she's got a big sniper rifle. Okay, fantastic. All right, two, four, six, seven figures, uh, approximately, approximately 200 points worth of infinity. Hey, thanks for tuning in, and hope you got your inspiration for the day.